playing it simple. Back. Oh my goodness, man. I could go on forever talk about how I got to where I was to where I am. More to follow. Anyway, anyway, we'll get into that a little bit later. But right now, I want to I'm out here looking at YouTube videos and um I just bought me a grill. Um yeah, bought me a grill. And it's time to put it together. And if you like me, you're lazy and you don't want to read instructions. So I'm over here looking at other people uh, and how they installed my same grill. Because there's nothing new that's been out for a little while. And if you know me, I, I don't like standing over an open flame and cooking. Um, I like smoking low and slow. Anyway, uh, we're going to speed this process up because I got a lot to do. Um, and shout out to this cat. I don't know this cat. I'm not affiliated with his, but if you know me, you know I'm big on supporting other people and their channels. Because we're doing the same thing. You know, it's one big family. And uh, this guy's name is The Galley Backyard Barbecue. I can try to steal my name now that I'm looking at it. But anyway, who cares, man? Shout out to you wherever you are in the world. Um, but I'm looking at your video, and I'm going to follow your steps and see if I can put my grill together. So I'm not going to bore you with all this step by step because it's a million people out there doing it. But just know I'm back. I'm in good health. I'm tired. Life is good. Um, and we're going to get this party started. So what way to start it with a new grill? So hold on. On that note, hold on. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you what I have. This monster. The Char Gorilla Gravity 980. It's got a gravity fed charcoal uh, box on the side. I've been wanting one of those and I didn't want to pay the prices that, if you know, like the guys like Big uh, Stump and all of those, you know, uh, the assassins. Everybody makes them. And uh, my pockets ain't deep like that right now. So I had to go for the $600 version. So we're going to see if this thing works. So stay tuned. As I go through this process, I'm gonna speed it up. I'll probably clip it, that way you don't have to see all of that. Never mind the trash can. But well, it's cold outside, so I got the grub. But anyway, I'll be back, y'all.
only thing I need to do is I just found this and shout out to my man, like I said, uh, I think it's Gallic Backyard Barbecue. Uh, explain what this is because I missed that step. Quick two minute thing, plug it in the back right here, screw it in. I do that tomorrow. But it is completely done, it was easy. I said, like I said, I was just looking at the video and the only steps that, that he kind of missed out on was like what bolts go with what. Screw it in, so of course I had to go to the structure. Because I did not want to put this together and then realize some screws went somewhere else. But either way, I'll stand the video, shout out to him. Uh, I'm leaving stickers on just because I'm happy to have a grill and I want to see this until I actually uh, cure it. And when I cure it, y'all already know I'm a big fan of peanut oil. But for my first one, um, when I, when I bur uh, burn it in, what I'm going to use is canola oil, just like everybody else. Um, but this week, I'm a, uh, what's today, Thursday? I'm a cow, I forget everything now. But anyway, I'm going to test it out. I'm going to do a, a pulled pork, awesome butt, maybe a shoulder or something, something cheap that's forgiving. And for those that don't know, like I said in previous videos, um, you want something with fat on it. So I'm not even going to trim any fat off of, off of the Boston butt. I want fat to render in here because that's what you see in the grill with fat. Um, so I'm going to do that, get a chance to see where my hot zones are. Probably over here right by the fire, but we're going to find out. And I'm going to find where my sweet spots are. Um, this thumbs up. I'm definitely interested. I saw a video about rotisserie. Um, I love rotisserie chicken, so I'm going to probably get me one of them. But that's down the line, y'all. Um, I got to go to my hockey to get right. Um, but yeah, we're going to light this thing up maybe a day or two from now, uh, Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna season it tomorrow, Saturday. I'm gonna put the pulled pork on on Sunday, and uh, we're gonna just let it run. I brought two bags of charcoal. Ain't no specials on charcoal no more. I'm kind of upset, but I understand COVID got everything messed up. So just bear with me. We're gonna get this thing going. And I'm kind of excited, y'all. I think this gravity fed uh, smoke out. Um, it's not by any means a shirt of fabrication, but for us broke folks, it works. This thing look like a tank, y'all. Like, they got insulation in there, um, deflectors, the whole nine, man. This thing, the box said 251 pounds. If y'all think I'm joking, hold on, let me let you see it. 251 pounds, y'all. Of course, you take out the trash, and then it weighs 250 pounds. So, just, just, just do the math on that in your head on um, when you think if a charge river is worth it. Because I'll be honest with you, they first grills that I used to have, um, probably about eight years ago, was convenient, but more of a headache. So this thing, I got a good feeling about it. So hopefully we'll see. And stay tuned, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Your boy is back. Holla!